Well, this could all come down to 90 minutes in Philadelphia tomorrow night, and we're seeing two very different approaches to this debate. Are you ready, Madam Vice President? Ready. And that was about it from Vice President Kamala Harris, out for a stroll with her husband during a break from what a number of reports describe as intense debate prep in Pittsburgh. She also emerged briefly on Saturday to visit a nearby spice store. I finally got out of the debate prep to look at these spices. Best part of debate prep so far. <laughs> uh, thank you very much, everybody. The former President Donald Trump held a rally in Wisconsin over the weekend. He's often discounted traditional practice sessions, and he says it's not a level playing field. If I destroy her in the debate, they'll say, Trump suffered a humiliating defeat tonight, no matter what. The Harris campaign has also complained, saying rules that require muted microphones to prevent interruptions are a disadvantage for her. And let's be honest, you know, Donald Trump is the best counterpuncher in the history of American politics. Democrats are trying to tamp down expectations for Harris ahead of the debate. But there was a sobering New York Times poll over the weekend for the Harris campaign, showing a neck and neck race in which much of Harris's post-convention bounce may have disappeared. One Republican strategist urged Trump to stick to the issues. If the debate is about personality and she can get under his skin, I think that uh, is much better territory for the, for the Harris campaign. Well, it looks like both candidates are going to remain off the campaign trail today in advance of the debate with just one day to go. In Washington, Doug Lusader, Fox News.